Good morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer this morning. Today, as we pray, I'm going to offer a prayer for military chaplains that's based in part on a prayer offered by the Chief of Navy Chaplains, Rear Admiral Mark L. Tidd, at the 220th General Assembly. Let's pray together. Everlasting God, on this day, we ask you to keep this nation and all nations under your care, that we may be peoples who are at peace and who are a blessing to others in the earth. Grant our nation's leaders wisdom that there would be times of peace and justice in our land and in our world. On this day, we lift up to you all who serve in our armed forces, who serve as the centurion did as ones who are under authority brave men and women who risk their lives for their country. Remind us of those who are far from home and loved ones who on this day sail or fly or walk in harm's way and keep them always close to you. Where there is combat, grant them compassion for their enemies and keep them brave in the face of evil. Hold in your loving hands the families of those who are far away and grant them comfort in their anxieties and comfort those who grieve because they have received the dreaded message that their loved one has died. Strengthen those who carry the wounds of war, visible and invisible, and be to them a secure presence. And on this day, we lift up to you those who serve your people as chaplains, wearing the uniforms of our military services and the families of those chaplains. Grant that they may always be true to the churches and groups who send them as they serve in the always complex and challenging environment of institutional ministry in the military. As Jesus sent the Twelve with the exhortation to be wise as serpent and innocent as doves, may they also have both wisdom and innocence as they navigate the rocks and shoals they encounter in living out their calling. Remind us always that we serve the one who washed the feet of his disciples. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of Isaiah, the 61st chapter, verses 8 through 11. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all nations. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.